Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back. It's Academia. I'm noticing something. Are you? Well, this is this this is the staff. Uh, I'm noticing that, and I'm going ahead and I'm gonna be deleting this stuff because I expanded the bus stops just to be like test this out. I was gonna let this go to the end of the year, but um, so here's here's the thing. We're spending twenty seven sixty every day on bus usage. All right. But here's the problem. We can see that the bus stops, and you can click them the edit zone on the bus stop, and it'll show you all this stuff. And I thought, why does that exist? Why am I able to see all this by clicking edit the bus stop? And then it occurred to me the intended functionality for this. You want multiple bus stops. You don't want one big one with a whole bunch of bench benches. Each bus stop is for one bus, and buses have a maximum occupancy. Which means we've been paying for every student to be on a bus, but so few students are actually using the buses. So you'll notice that when the school day starts, we're gonna have a whole lot of kids coming in here at seven o'clock. Just to give it a second. Almost, it's coming. And almost all of them will be walking. There's a ton of students still walking, not using the bus. The buses got here already, and those kids have been able to do things in the common rooms. They've, they've been sitting here chilling on computers this whole time before school, before school, right? That's been great. The rest of the kids haven't been able to do that because they're walking. It just takes them longer to get here and they're more tired, right? Their uh, energy, it, actually this one's energy is fine, but um, I'm not really sure. But the, it, the buses help them get to school early and they can have more fun and stuff. So what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to fix that. So you have to have a lot of money. So bus stops we want to have multiple bus stops it recommends five by three now i understand why we're gonna do four by three uh you know what let's do five by three five by three here five by three here five by three here and we need to we need to separate them they have to have a, a barricade between them which kind of sucks to be honest because i'd like them to just butt up against each other it would save me space all right so there's that let's go ahead and remove this zone and you know what? We're just going to reinvent the whole... We're going to redo all of this. So all the bus stops are going away today. All right. So we've got a bunch of bus stops now. What I'm hoping for <clears throat> is if I say, for example... Well, let's wait for them to build them so I can... Actually, you can do it over here. If I say, for example, this bus stop... Now, I'm wondering if these are individualized... And I don't know that. Let's just set these to zero. We don't need to type. Uh, so let's say that this bus stop has got 20 kids. I don't know what the capacity for bus is, but let's say that this one's 20. Okay, it doesn't actually matter. Damn. Oh, I was really hoping it did. It doesn't actually matter. So maybe maybe it will work anyway. Hey, let's see. 58. Uh, we'll go 60 here. We'll go 52 here. I want every kid to use the bus stop. But I'm thinking like every time, like every zone is one bus. So what I'm hoping for is I see a bunch of buses lined up and everybody gets on them. I don't know if that's the case. I, I really hope it is though. So we'll see after this day. Uh, Cause I've been like, I've been looking at this, like I'm paying this much money for buses and the overwhelming majority, like 85% of my students are, are still walking. So anyway, um, we're gonna do these classes. I think we were, because we still have two teachers that are sitting around doing nothing. So let's get more classes in. Concrete floor is already done here. We'll just extend that over because we're going to use it. And like that. Let's get the doors put in on that side, let's say. And uh, let's say this side. That's going to give this hall access. It's also going to allow people to move, but I kind of don't want people moving through the bathrooms as the... If for standard traffic. I kind of don't want that, but... Also, this needs to be changed. This is a little bit annoying. Uh, we're going to go with floors, stone, make this. Yeah, like this, please. And then up like that. And then this is grass. And then this is grass. I don't know if that was annoying anyone else, but it's annoying me. So make that grass. And you know what? We might as well just complete this and uh, put grass here and put grass over here. And why not put grass over here too? Let's just spend all of our money on grass. <laughs> uh, then we're gonna take 
Uh, f uh nah, floors. Yep. The this floor here. This is our floor for classrooms. Let's fill that in. And uh, where am I gonna put the doors and stuff? This is a, di a different classroom organization. These are five tiles. So we'll put the class. We'll put the desks like this. Student desks can go like this. So it's about 25. And then the teacher's desk can go here. Chalkboard can go here. Same thing on this side. And then student desks can go like so. Which would make the doors end up being like over here somewhere. Good enough for me. So we'll let them get on that. Oh, the walls too. Beige walls. There. There. All the way up to here. And then there. And then that takes care of those classrooms as soon as they're built. And then we can mark those. But I don't know what we're marking them as, though. Because we already have four... Hmm. I, I think we are. I think we're going to make this a two-wide hallway. So no lockers in this hall. And if that's the case, then... We kind of need to redo the floors again because uh, this needs to be stone here, not there. Sounds good. Sounds fine. Do that, I guess. And then we'll have double doors there. Which means this is brick. All right. That makes this indoors. As soon as they build that wall, it makes this indoors. Let's get the uh, worker priority on that for now. And then actually we want to demolish. We want to demolish this wall anyway. So let's do that. And then the brick wall ends up going. We want to demolish the floor here too. Get the money back for that. And what's my workers doing right now? Workers. Workers, I want you doing this, please. Yes, come over here, workers. There you go. And then we're going to do the beige wall. It's going to be here. And it's going to be kind of mimicking the other wall. Uh, at least to here it will. We can actually leave this. Yeah, let's leave this. Leave this intact. Everything else can go, but leave this intact. My bad. Good thing it's free. Uh, and then we want the bathroom tile floors. Pinwheel there and herringbone there. Okay. Now it's just a matter of waiting for them to do it. Get rid of all of the planning lines. Erase planning lines. All the planning lines gone. Okay. And then, you know what? No, logistics. Worker priority. All of this. This is where you live, workmen. Right here. This is where you live. All right. Get that. Also, uh, maybe you guys play it. Maybe you don't. I, I played RimWorld uh, on Twitch for quite a bit. And actually, we're starting. Uh, I'm, I've been invited into the Hot Potato. If you're not familiar with what that is, if you're, if you're, if you're a fan of RimWorld... Uh, the hot potato is a thing that we do on Twitch. The, the RimWorld community on Twitch does this where we share save files with other streamers. And uh, every day, the same time of every day, uh, each streamer has it. So somebody has it on Monday, they pass it along to the next guy. He has it on Tuesdays, pass it along to the next guy. That guy's got it on Wednesdays, etc. And uh, we all work towards a common goal to accomplish a certain goal. Um, I can't tell you what it is right now because it's we're keeping it secret until we've refined it. Um, but I'm going to be starting mine on the 25th of January, noon Eastern time on Saturdays. That's a Saturday, 25th. I'll be having it on Saturdays. And um, that's a different time because I don't normally stream on Saturdays, but we're going to be streaming on Saturdays this time. And uh, yeah, the hot potato. It's going to be fun. Come on out for that if you'd like to. And also, you can check out other streamers that are part of the Hot Potato as well. I'll have their information in my stream page's description and stuff. And you can check out those other guys if you want to as well. All sorts of really wonderful people play RimWorld. I believe that is... I believe that is all I needed right there. 
Let me double check this with the blueprint. Get rid of these planning lines. And uh, what I want to do is blueprint ruler. Six by eight. So we want to have a six by eight here. It's a seven by eight. So this is six by eight. The wall goes there. There we go. Now all we need to do, get the floors put in. That's going to be here for our classrooms. There we go. There we go. And then all of this. And then all of this. All right. So this gives us what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, this is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. In order to divide evenly, we need 24 classrooms. We need 24. So I need to keep this going, don't I? I don't think I can. We need a hall. We need a hall right through here. Hmm. These bathrooms need to move. Yes. I think these bathrooms need to move. But either way, I also need to come down here, I think. I need the facility to drop. Maybe we move the track? I want to have four teachers per, just so I can have more students. All right, see, look at this. Oh my God, no way. You just need enough benches. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, actually, I mean, that kind of, I mean, it does work. It's kind of weird, but it works. Uh, the bus just keeps moving. Is there anything I can do to... Hmm. I'm wondering, because one big stop didn't work before. But I'm going to pause this really quick. I'm going to change these bus stops again. Let's have... See, what I worry about, though, is... I want to experiment with this. Because people are actually riding the bus that time, right? I'm going to take away these ones. Leave that. See, and the bus drops everyone off now. Look at that bus. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. So, what I'm hoping for here... Let's delete. Um, we'll leave that one. We're going to delete these ones. And then what we'll do... Actually, let's delete these benches too. So we can move them over to be closer. Uh, we don't need to delete these because we can add. Uh, and then over here, uh, we're going to delete these benches. So we can have them be closer as well. And then we'll just add for this. So we'll put a bench here. I'll put benches here and here. But I need to make the whole room, the whole zone. So the idea now, here's what I like to do. School bus zone. We're just doing bus stops. We'll do two big bus stops. But this time, we'll have a whole bunch of benches within these two bus stops. So there'll be two bus stops. It's still only one bus. And if it works for everyone, then I'll get rid of this one and we'll have one big bus stop with a whole bunch of benches. But I'm learning. So it's they'll the bus will only take the number of students that can fit on the bench. They have to be sitting. They can't stand. Bunch of entitled kids. Go like this. And then we'll just go like, let's say that. And then here, here. Uh, this bench needs to get moved, but then we'll also go all the way out to about here. Wait till that bench gets moved. Workman, pretty please. And then this bus stop needs to be expanded upon, please. There we go. Uh, let's, let's actually remove this really quick and we'll go general bus stop and we'll go like that. Let's expand on it over here too. Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. Why doesn't it let me do it? There it goes. Nope. Let me do it. There we go. Okay. Now. With this, we're going to just take these benches all the way across. Uh, or not. How uh, that be, buddy? Oh, right, because there's that one tile right there. Okay, we'll go like this. 
And then, uh, like this. Workmen! What's the deal here? Let's go! <clears throat> why are we not just... Why are we not... Why are we not breaking this down? You're right here. Break that down. I think they've... I think there's a bug where it, it won't actually do what you've asked. So you have to uh, cancel the request. And then request it again. Yeah, yeah. Some sort of weird thing happening there. Alright. So two bus stops. And tons of benches. <laughs> like, way more benches than we ever need. And I'm even going to add to it over here, too. But if I'm right about how I suspect this works, then we should see literally everyone using a bus this time. Because there's a ton of benches up front. <laughs> um, what else? We have some money left. I mean, we have lots of money left over. Let's go to... Uh, floors. Grass. Complete the grass. The grass movement. We are going to complete our grassy movement. At least in the front. Grass everywhere. And back here. Because we can. And then down here. Let's just use and abuse. <laughs> use and abuse up there. Okay. 4,000 bucks left over after they install all those wind turbines. Now, I want to make sure that our buses are being used, right? So, we're going to hit this. You can see we have all these. We can actually take some transfer students if we want to as well. Place trash dumpster. I didn't do that yet. Let's do that now. As long as it doesn't cost a whole lot. Garbage. Trash dumpster. 135 bucks. <clears throat> okay. Garbage. <coughs> Sorry. Garbage. One. Uh, two. It looks like I can't place it on top of existing garbage bags. So we'll just put these, these two dumpsters right here. And then let's get the worker priority set to that so that they do it now. I can complete that grant and move on with my life. And then the next grant will be probably the, the transfer students. Can we take juniors? I mean, we can. We have such small classrooms because we have so many classrooms now. We have small classes. So, yeah. Uh, we kind of can. We can afford it. Reports. Yeah, we have really small class sizes now. So, I think we take this. And this. And this. <laughs> uh, and then... Although, I don't know how that affects our passing rate. Because are the transfer students well-learned? You know? I think these sophomores have some catching up to do. We have a whole day left, though. They're all well-learned. Okay. Uh, and then, hold on a second. Whoops. Let me make sure we're all divided up nicely. So, t this one has 20. We want to separate this. About like that, please. And then... Uh, 17... 14... 13... Good. 20 in this one. Let's divide this. Like that. And we have 19 in here. So let's divide these. Like that. Okay, good. Next to do. We're almost done with all the grants. Set them straight. It's, that's the, uh, yeah. That's the counselor's office. Expand to 300. We're definitely doing that now. And buying land. Still don't know how to do that just yet. Well, I know how to do it, but I'm, I'm not going to do it until I have great teachers. Um, set them straight. It's the counselor's office. All right. Build an office assigned to a counselor. We probably have to use this for another classroom to do what I want to do. So let's blueprint this really quick. The walls of the classroom from wall to wall are 10. So if I want another one, it's going to be to here. Makes this kind of a narrow hallway. If we come back to here, then we have wall to wall is eight here. So there's just enough space. If we go all the way to the edge of the map, there's just enough space. So what we'll do is 
Uh, we have 12, we have 12 grand right now. What we'll do is take the brick wall for the exterior and come up this way. It looks like they're going to let me build there. That's cool. We'll demolish this because we're going to expand that way with it. And then we're going to go with the plan into, let's see, plan air. So it's, how many, how much up is it? It's, let's just get the ruler out. Six by eight. So what we'll want is six by eight and then stop here and then another six by eight. Like that. Seems good, man. So let's build that. We already got the brick wall. We'll, uh, I think we'll wanna probably want to keep going, possibly. We may we may keep going up. Um, but I, I, I know I can go down. I'm pretty sure I can. So uh, we'll also want to mark the blueprint for this, too. Floor plan, 6x8 here. We can go all the way down here with this, with this class. We do want the hallway. So what we'll do here instead is we're going to have this building... It's going to be like this. Okay. The beige interior wall will go like this. This doorway can be eliminated. And it can be shifted to be a double door here instead. And then we make all of this regular concrete. Okay. Let's get on that, workman. Uh, we'll also have... All this is done. Yeah, regular concrete's fine there. Walls. Let's get the beige wall interior. Uh, you know what? Let's have the door be on this side. Beige wall there. Door can be on this side, so we'll go up like that. I may continue upwards um, into the future, but let me just count the classrooms. So this is, again, we're looking at 16 here. 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. To have four teachers per subject, we need 24 classrooms. So we'll need to go up one more. So we're going to have this brick wall come all the way up here. And let's space it out. So it's six by eight there. Yep. So that leaves our brick wall will be here. Mm hmm. We can also move this bathroom now, though. Make this a hall we can move down. Yes! Make this a bathroom. That's nice. Make this a bathroom. That's nice. But we need to shift it. We need to move it. Right? So, I think we have the money tomorrow to do... to, to man Actually, we have the money now because we're going to get fully reimbursed for all this stuff. So, we have the money to do it now. But we can uh, kind of bring this up a bit. Right? So, this will be... The brick wall for the classroom. I don't know if it's the end of the building yet. But we I do know that I want to demolish this. Uh, not that. Well, this is going to be an interior wall now. So, yeah. Demolish that. Sell that, too. Yeah. So, let the workmen get on that. And that leaves 24... Yeah. That leaves 24 classrooms. We'll have 25 kids per classroom... Which equals a whole lot of kids. <laughs> a whole lot. That's my official count. A whole lot. I'm just saying. That's. I'm pretty sure that's a whole lot. <laughs> it might even be a thousand kids. I don't know. I'm not going to do the math right now. You do the math. I'm, I'm tired of math. Dumpsters. Uh, let's grab. We'll do one more here. Let's get. Because uh, I think deliveries. Yeah, that's right on the edge of deliveries. Cool. So we take deliveries here. Trash goes out here. Look at that garbage truck. Genius. One janitor. Just add another one to the staff. I want to see the buses work. Here we go. It's almost 4 p.m. That's dismissal. Buses coming in. I want to see everyone use the buses. And then I'll know that the buses are fixed. Because you have to have enough for every kid to ride the bus. They're, the, they're just missed and they want to eat. I wonder if they're not getting enough time to eat or something? Are they not getting enough food when they're... 
Are they just like after school activities, man? Look at this. This is dismissed. Like, you can go home anytime you want. But they're still using all the facilities. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, let's show me the bus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Show me the bus. Buses, come on in. Everyone. What? See, look at them all walking. What are you all walking for? Why are you walking? Aw, oh, freaking transfer students. <laughs> That's the tr uh, I think a lot of them are transfer students, but... No, this is way more than transfer students here. Well, maybe it'll work tomorrow. I did I did change everything, so maybe they have the... Like, the status of whether or not they're gonna, they're gonna ride the bus. Maybe that's decided at a certain point. Because I did, I did wipe all these, so... We'll see tomorrow if they all come in. Well, they should come in on the bus, but I want them to ride the bus out. 4,400. And our, our bus stop budget is... It says 2760. That's today's spending. Tomorrow's spending, 2940. So basically, keep yourself with three grand. Make sure we have three grand at all times, basically. Um, part of me wants to move this track. Then we can have like counselor's offices and stuff right here. Because I still don't have room for the counselor's office. But we are going to move these toilets and stuff. So I'm going to take and let's delete these zones so they don't use them anymore. We're going to go with dismantle on all of these. Dismantle on all of these. And then we're going to, of course, demolish all of this. I think all of this. Just take all of this out of here. This too. We'll remake all of this stuff. I'll leave the doors and leave that wall so that this stays indoors. I want all this to stay indoors, but everything else needs to be demolished. And, uh, yeah, we'll do this here, here too. All the floors and stuff, they, they can go as well. So we'll remake this area. This might trigger some people having this be like this. Uh, it might trigger me too. It, it may. It may trigger me too. Uh, is it worth it? It's not. Especially not right now, since it'll cost me too much money and then I'll I won't have enough for the buses. Uh, okay, I'll wait on that. We're making thirty thousand a day, guys, and a lot of that's because of the wind turbines. Yes, but how much of that is wind turbines? Uh, all but five k. Yeah, kind of all but five k. Okay. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's yes, it's cheesy, absolutely. But I feel like you you set yourself up for this. Like as a developer, you made this way too powerful. So I'm gonna use it, I guess. Dismantle toilet. We're getting a whole bunch of money for this stuff. All right, we're adding all the like this under construction wing, right? So what I want to do here is we're gonna. We're gonna have the bathrooms for sure, because there's not enough bathrooms for everybody. But male toilet is gonna be here now. We're gonna go six by seven here. Yeah. If we go seven by seven, this hallway will zigzag, which I guess is fine. Whatever. Uh, and then we can go also here with the female toilet. Seven by seven is what they recommend. So here, again, there will be a little bit of a zigzag. But now at least we get this hallway. This this consistent hallway. I think it's here. Yeah. Can never tell where the hell this zone ends. I think that's it. Hmm... Hmm. Do I care? There really isn't a reason to have this gap, honestly. There's no reason for the gap. We're gonna go like this instead. This will be the men's bathroom. It's a nice, consistent, straight line. 
it widens out into three wide here. And then it's going to eventually end up two wide again, I think. But we're going to end up going all the way to here. Yeah, well, it'll widen. Into, it'll go down into two wide again. And then up. And then the zone for the female toilet will get changed to being like this. Ends up being six, uh, nine by six. Totally acceptable to me. Nine by six on both of them. Nice. Okay. So let's have workmen get on that. And they're gonna re replace these walls too, because they're all interior. Uh, before you do this though, I'm gonna take uh, that wall away and that wall away, so that we can put doors there instead. To be the doors for the bathroom, and then maybe we put another door here too, so that you guys can get in and out on multiple bathrooms, multiple doors. I think so. Let's put one there and put one there. Okay, toilets. For the sinks, we'll put it along this wall. And we'll go about like... Let's put four sinks there. And then this, the female toilet, we'll put four sinks here. Men's toilets will have urinals on the side here. Followed by toilet cubicles here. And then here. And here. Good enough. We'll put the hand sanitizer on the wall there. Hand sanitizer on the wall here. And then toilet cubicles for the female toilets will be along here, here, and here. And it opens up with the sinks there. We could do extra ones here, but I'm just gonna leave it open. All right, build, floors, Pinwheel is going like, uh, pinwheel is going on the on the doors there and there, and then all of this, and then herringbone floor is going there, there, and all of here, and then this is a concrete floor, all along here, all concrete, and then this is an exterior wall, so we'll go, we go there with it, and then. I guess there for now. That seals this place up and makes it indoors again. And then uh, let's make sure we get all the floors in here. Concrete there and there. And then we want the floors for the classrooms to be all the same too. So all of that, that, and all of that, that, and all of that. Yep. And then I think, I believe it's just this. And probably the door there. So then we'll go walls. Don't you love this? We're like auto. I'm in autopilot mode right now. Isn't that nice? <laughs> What's he doing? I can't keep up. You can keep up. You can keep up. This isn't that fast. All right. So there's our hallway. So this is kind of. Uh, this is kind of narrow. It's going to bug me, isn't it? God damn it. Ah, it's going to bug me. All right, we're going to do it. <laughs> it's going to bug me. I'm sorry. I have I have to. It's bugging me too much. Demolish all of this. Move this wall. Make a door. New door here. We're just going to shift this over. <sighs> Fine. So it's a nice, big, three-wide hallway anyway. Floors, concrete, make it so. And demolish that too. And make that concrete too. Ah, oh, okay. That won't bug me as much now. So we have classrooms all along the exterior side here. So 16, right? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 divides evenly into six subjects. And we can also have lockers along one side here, I guess. I think we have enough lockers, but these are classrooms. We should have uh, we should have lockers for them. Hmm. Yes, I think that I think that is true. Lockers, it is. We're gonna blow some more money. We'll do it along uh, this side. 
opposite of the actual classes. Or opposite of the doors. Uh, let's put a... We'll put a trash bin here and some bulletin board stuff. And then up here. And then uh, along this hall, let's have lockers there and lockers here. Good. This is all indoors. Indeed. Okay. Dismantle. Nope. It's, it's demolish. All of this. Task is out of reach. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You're just complaining. Stop being a bitch. Uh, floors. Right here. Done. And then we can pop more lockers in here. Obviously. Oh, isn't this fun? Renovations are fun. And it's so... It's really seamless. I, I like how... I like how seamless this is. It's cool. I, I don't personally agree with the idea of getting fully refunded every time you demolish a wall or uh, like a floor. It should cost you money to demolish that stuff. You are literally destroying something and having to spend money on the labor to do that. I don't think you should get fully refunded. But since you can get fully refunded, it just lets you do major renovations like that for pretty much no consequence. I, uh, I moved some stuff around. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure out what I wanted to do, and I've just figured, ah, I'll just cut this video up. So, uh, female toilets, done over here. Male toilets, done over here. I like the open space that comes with these bathrooms. I don't like the fact that there's tile missing from this one, though. Hello? Pinwheel. Uh, let's get that done, like, right away so we don't have dirt. Uh, and then we've got all these classrooms done. Now, we have to do the flooring for some of these classrooms, though. Because they're not completely done. But for the most part, everything is done here. Uh, I shifted the door. I had the door here, like, in line over this. But I figured with the urinals being right here, there should probably be some sort of, like, a wall obstruction within this door, the way the door is. So I've gone ahead and I've just sort of, like, moved it. Uh, then... We need the herringbone floor to be there then, and this is okay. Plenty of toilets there, plenty of this. Are we losing money on water now? We are not, so we're good. Uh, so all these classrooms are, like, the basics of them are done, right? They're already laid out. We just need to put the objects in. So let's take classroom, student chair, and we're kind of kind of mimic this. So we're looking for... Basically, on this side, 25 there, 25 there. Watch my money tick down to nothing. 25 there. With the doors being alternated here, we're going to go and actually face it this direction now. 25 there, 25 there, and 25 there. Teacher's desks get flipped around facing this direction, and then flipped around facing this direction. And then the chalkboard goes there, there, there. Flip it around, there, there, and there. And all of those classes now actually count as classes. But, what do we call them? I, I kind of want to move this. We have, uh, I kind of want the freshmen, the sophomores, juniors, seniors, all those guys together. So, what I think I'm going to do... So we're going to move the freshmen over here. The freshmen are the furthest possible away from all the stuff. Because the seniors shouldn't have to walk all the way across, okay? Seniors, you guys should be treated better. So next school year, we're going to move all these classes, reclassify all of them, if you will. And we're also going to shift this. We're going to have another library, another music room, and the staff canteen is going to be moved over here. The staff bathroom will be over here, too. And I think it's time to buy land. So let's take research. We have enough to... I think we have enough to go with the buses. Is this staff leaving? Okay. So it's not kids. I, I don't know if kids actually took the bus today. I, I wasn't paying attention. I want to see an A on our report card. Okay. They're going to do their final exam right now. I want to see an A on this report card. But I also want to make sure we don't go bankrupt uh i was really hoping to get research done i guess it's too late now 
Yeah, okay. Let's see what we do on our report card then. Oh, isn't it exciting? First off, let's... Oh my god, this is perfect! Look at this! Oh yeah! Seniors are a little bit lacking in language, 88. But like, now we're at the point where 87 and 88 are considered lacking. Oh, nah. We're gonna pass finals easily. We're gonna get an A, baby. Our current rank is 619 of 1,000. I wanna see... Let's say... I wanna see in the 400s. Maybe high 300s. Even. I, I, wanna re I really wanna jump up there. Because we got quite a bit of prestige now. It's 970. And we're earning more and more prestige the better we do. And since we have more kids in the school and more people graduating, I don't see any reason why we can't have everything in the world we want. Getting a counselor would give us even more prestige. Zones. I'm going to take classroom. Actually, we're going to redo all of these classrooms. So, like, these aren't going to be freshmen anymore, sophomore, junior, senior. All that stuff is getting completely changed. Because we're going to put freshmen. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, sophomores will be in here. One, two, three, four. How many classrooms can we actually have? We can do five now per grade, can't we? 541. Man. These other schools are doing really good. What? How do we get a B on pedigree? Who failed? How did you fail? Wait, who, there's nobody here. Oh, you bugged out the hell. <laughs> you bugged. There's nobody failing. Lame. There's nobody failing, I say. This is a full 100% pass. You suck. You suck, game. You suck, video game. Look at this. This 19 kids fail, but it won't show me who it is. Uh-huh. Sure. You're just mad that I'm really good at this now. You're just jealous of my betterness. Okay? You're jealous of my, my, my muchness. My betterness. Okay? I just paid for buses for no reason. Again. 29.40 for no reason. Okay. Let's redo these classrooms, and then we're going to call this today. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove all of these. There's no classrooms anymore. We'll say that this one is 301. 302. 303. 304. 305. And 306. Beautiful. This one is going to be... Uh, yeah, we'll have this be the extra two. So this will be uh, 201, 202, 203, 204, 205. That's the way, let's make this one six. And this will be 205. So the numbers always are high, are lower up, and then they count higher as you go down. And then this one here will be... Oh, we haven't got the classrooms made yet. Well, workmen will do that today. And then once we have the freshman classes marked, I think we just go. Now, do the cafeteria need to be expanded? <sighs> we should actually... You know what? Let's do this. Let's demolish... Sorry, dismantle all of these. I want to shift these in position. Shift these in position? Yes, I want to shift their position. We're just waiting for all the teacher's desks to get installed. Apparently, I skipped this. I was unaware. Let's go with worker priority. All of this is your priority now. Please do that. Anything that's left over. And then, uh, once the classrooms are actually marked as being classrooms, we'll go freshman. Yep. Edit zone. This is now 101. It's okay. 102. This is build phase, right? Okay. I saw this first period. I went, huh? It is build phase. Uh, 102. Good. 103. 104. 105. And 106. I like how the 
This just goes completely off the map, like... What? That's odd. But alright. Okay, so all the classes are marked now. Now the only thing is, we need to hire teachers to go with this. We need to have one teacher per every classroom. That's 24. 24 teachers, right? We can bring them all in. We are going to bring in uh, all. I guess you can always hold the button down too. I think we just bring in all of them. Can we afford to do that? Huge school, dude. Well, okay, it's not that huge, but there's only 262 kids, actually. It's not that big. Uh, let's see. So, we'll have 80 kids and juniors, 79 seniors. Since there's six classrooms per, that's really small class sizes. Good. And then freshmen doesn't need that much, but eventually I'm hoping we can bring in more freshmen. We may not need that many, that many for freshman classes, though. We'll get really good attention for freshmen. Okay, we can't quite pay off the bank balance for the loan yet, but... We're gonna bring in all these admissions, and I think what we'll probably end up doing is... We're gonna assign them... Well, they should get auto-assigned, and then we'll go from there. We'll start out with a little bit bigger classrooms, probably, and then we'll expand our, our teachers as the year goes on because we need the money to do so. But for the time being, at least get four teachers. Yeah, no, we need four teachers. Six subjects, four teachers, each subject equals 24. So yeah, one additional teacher per subject. God, what is going on? Aristotle? Aristotle can teach us history. Would you like to learn history from Aristotle? I bet you would. I bet you you would. He's really expensive. I don't think I could pass up the opportunity to have Aristotle in my classroom, though. Done. That'll be the one teacher we hire before the start of the school year. Uh, and then when the school year ticks over, we'll hire another one. So here we... I, we'll, we'll fix this stuff, too. God, there's so much to do in this game. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and start the school year. Yeah. Filled up admissions? Yes. Go. Hate being double dipped on for the bus. Senior lacks... Okay. Now, students are arriving. I don't... Okay, it did reset. I saw it when it, when it first faded in. I saw that it was 8 a.m. And I went, huh. They're coming in in first period. But it did correct itself. Okay. So we have $32,000. Now it says some students don't have a classroom. There's a whole lot of them that don't have a classroom. Why are you not auto be being auto assigned? I don't understand that. All right. They should be automatically assigned. This should just, just flat out be the way it is. Um, let's go this way. We'll go, let's start with 15. Actually, we won't need the 15. Well, we're gonna spread these out to be even anyway. So we'll go like this. Go like this. Go like this. One, two. Let's take some away from here. Give them over to here. Uh, take one away from this one. Give it to this one. Take a couple away from this one. Go here and here. That seems pretty good. Yep. That's about as good as evenly as we're going to get on distribution. Okay, three. Three. Everyone's over here already. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we'll just start with this. We'll go 13. I can't actually type. Okay, now I can't type. So, yeah. So, you're not always able to type in these text boxes. All the way down. All the way down. Okay. How's the distribution now? Just take away a couple out of this. And we'll redistribute it here like this. Uh, let's take one out of this class. Give it to this one. Pretty even. Seems good. All right. Sophomores. Uh, same thing here. Let's go we'll start with 12 in each, and then we'll go from there. 13, whatever. It's fine. Oh, these are going to be a little bit smaller. I like it. These are going to be really small classrooms. Uh, let's take some out of this. Take some out of this. And we need to put a whole bunch in here. Uh huh. Like that. Okay. And then unassigned for freshmen. Wowzers. Okay. So that happened. 
Uh, let's try this instead. We'll... Let's pull him out of here. We'll go like 11, 10, 9. Oh boy. We don't need this small of classes. <laughs> like, we, re we don't really need it to be this small. Like, this extra teaching is, like, nice and all, but uh, I feel like we're kind of... We're not using the full extent of our facilities. So let's actually cut 105 and 106 completely out of this. And uh, we'll go with, like, these four classes instead. We don't even need that. Let's just do the top three. Yeah, we'll cut 104 out of this, too. It's just unnecessary to, to use these the rooms like that. So we'll go with uh, like that. Like that. Okay. That's the freshman class. Very, very small. We're going to have to take freshman transfers as well. Okay. So it says there's no teacher in any of these. And um, that is correct. However, however, we have $32,000 now, which means I can hire somebody new. Uh, Don Bolante, I'm afraid I don't need you since your history, but I could get rid of one of these guys. Let's, let's get enough teachers first and then we'll start replacing the ones. So we need another math teacher. Let's find Chris Top Art. I do need another art teacher. Mm. Chris Top. You know what? Purely because of the hat you're wearing, you're hired. That's literally the only reason I'm hiring you. Ada Loveless Art. Again, no. Uh, JM Lim Art. Really? Art? Seriously? Guys? Hello? Plato. P E. <laughs> Plato is from. Oh my god. Sergeant Novak and Plato. I love it. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Sergeant Novak and Plato. It's perfect. Art again. Wow. There's an awful lot of art teachers out there. Math. Here we go. We'll take Catherine Sky on math. And she wants a thousand a day, nine thousand hiring bonus. We can afford her. Go. Should be enough classrooms now, I think. Senior classrooms lack teachers. Okay, hang on. So there's still a couple that lack teachers. All right, we're gonna have to consolidate. So, uh, seniors for the first day, I think, here. Class sizes are pretty small as is, so we, we can we can afford to do this a little bit. Let's take everyone out of six. Distribute everyone in six to go into the other ones. So we'll add two to each class. And then one, one, uh, and one. Like that. And then, of course, we have to mark detention, too. Let's have senior classrooms be, te be detention since it's closer to like the cafeteria and stuff. Reports. So it still says no teacher here. And these are all seniors it's classrooms. So um, nobody's assigned to 406. We can actually take 406 out of here. I need, I need to actually remove 406, I think. Are you 406? Yeah, I'm going to remove that. That class isn't being used. Now let me shake, let me see the schedule now. No, we're still missing a teacher. I mean, I may make sense because we're we're lacking that staff. Hmm. All right. Well, we're gonna have to remove. We're gonna have to consolidate seniors further. I don't like that though. Can we consolidate juniors instead? Let's consolidate the juniors instead. Um, or even the sophomores. Yeah, sophomores because there's less of them. So we'll take uh, 206, 206. Let's pull, put one of you in each of these. The only thing we have to do is make sure we don't have more classrooms than teachers. That's really the only thing. As long as we do that, we're okay. So that consolidates 206. Let's find 206. I believe it's this one. So we just remove that. It's no longer on the schedule. Reports still says no teacher. We have 22 teachers. We, so four of these classrooms need to be removed, basically. So I need to consolidate. Oh wait, I already removed the freshman classes. Oh, you know what? I bet that's the reason. One, two, three. Yeah, those freshman classrooms. So, uh, 
Let me see. So 22. Should we? Do we have 22 classes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Huh? How do you still have no teacher? 401. How do you still have no teacher? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I have nineteen classrooms, twenty two teachers. How does that even compute? Yeah, I don't understand that. I don't understand why you don't have the. It has to be based on the subject, right? Because it won't let me flip these subjects around. It's got to be. That's got to be it. It's because it won't let me flip the subjects around. So we're going to have periods of time. It's science. Yeah, the science teacher. There's no science teacher for seniors here. And the only reason it's not a science teacher is because you won't let me reposition science for a different periods of time so that we don't have multiple science classes at once. Right now, if freshmen have science at 10, sophomores have it at, at 10 as well. And um, juniors do not. And seniors do. But the thing is, that's only three. Wait, that's only three. One, it's Alvin. You know what? Hang on. Let's check something really quick. No. What is going on here? There are three instructors. There are three instructors. Instructors for science. 10 a.m. One. Alvin. The other teacher at 10 a.m. Here is Max. Oh, I have to scroll. Okay. And then the juniors. The juniors have it at 10 too. Okay, I have to scroll. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Well, we have to consolidate more. We have to consolidate more classrooms then. So let's. Hmm. Let's look at where we can consolidate some more for now. I like the small class sizes, but I'm going to have to consolidate some juniors as well, I think, here. Let's take 306 and distribute these, these classes, too. There we go. All right, 16 kids in each of these, and 306 can go. So 306 is going to be this one. All right, so we should have, a yep, there we go, good. Okay, fixed that problem. And then as we expand, we have the facilities. We have all of the, the classes we need. So as we expand, we'll get more teachers, right? We're gonna do that. And uh, honestly, if I was building this, if I was building this school bigger, then I would have, you know, more computer labs, more AV rooms. I mean, we'd probably have four of each of those, right? Basically, it's however many, however many could possibly have to use that lab at one time. That's what we would be using, right? All right, homeroom. Look at everybody using, look at everybody walking again, again. We have to assign them. Can you please have them auto assigned? I don't want to have to do this manually every time. It's silly to have to do that manually every time. Automate this, please. All right. That's it. That's my long, long video. God, why am I always doing these long videos? What is the deal? How do you guys do this to me? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hi! Cafeteria, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna do that too. I'm gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna leave you guys right here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. I want the thumbs ups. Give me the thumbs ups. We'll see ya, bye.